EA Sports is proud to present continuing coverage of the world of golf. From Orlando, Florida and Arnold Palmer's Bay Hill Club and Lodge, live final round coverage of Q School. Well, we have already seen three scintillating, sometimes spectacular rounds of golf. By the time twilight comes calling later today, we will have a champion as we check the Sunday leaderboard. Our leader here on this Sunday is our featured golfer. He's got a sizable advantage here as he looks to increase it further. And that is going to miss the fairway as his opening tee shot is in the rough. It's okay, not ideal, but um, manageable from there. This is not going to get there, but it will find a safe spot between the front two bunkers here at this first hole. Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Sat down fairly quick as well. Good shot. Well done. That is in for a bar here at the first. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. This will be a five-foot putt here. Oh, well, you hate to give one back on a putt like that. Okay, it's a bogey here at the second. And fortunately, with a big lead already, very little damage done. That's up the left side. Yeah, that's a good drive right there. Played the bend in that fairway perfectly, and more importantly, kept it out of that lake. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. He's left himself 133 yards to the flag. And that wind is herring from left to right, so you need to factor that in as you start this ball. A touch long, a touch left, but still, how good can you putt? Ah, that is well judged straight into the cup. It's a birdie here at number three. And that's going to move him to 27 under par. Driving's been sensational all week, and here's another one that's going to set up nicely in the fairway. Now, from just under 300 yards, a second from the fairway at the par five. Well, just a good solid shot right there with that three wood, Frank. 
That's an aggressive layup, really, trying to force that three wood down and get it as close as possible to the green. That's two good shots if you can't reach the par five. Okay, a little left to do, but safely on the green. Good run going here early. This is birdies at three and four. And he moves to 28 under par. So from a little more than 70 yards, this is second. And that'll do just fine. This now seven feet for his birdie. the run here that a third consecutive birdie and he'll get that score to minus 29. That's going to be up the left hand side. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. unlucky too. If that ball had just slowed down, it could have been an eagle puck. Just kept going. Oh, just over the back. Pretty good. That, all that remains for a birdie four. Everything going right now at a fourth consecutive birdie. And he's going to move to 30 under par. Okay, that one's dancing. We turn to Notabege the third for this look at birdie. Really not a whole lot to this. He's gonna get a little help from the slope. Other than that, just slightly to the right. There's another one. It's five birdies in a row. That score continues to impress. He is now at 31 under par. That, a good looking shot there, well placed in the fairway. Wind coming from his right as he gets set for his second. That one is running so hot.
where all the elements of his game have been in sync today. A terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that three-foot circle around the hole. That was a really nice shot. So that'll be a par, and it will keep him at four under for his round. That's a tough breeze to allow from, coming from the right. Did an excellent job of adjusting for that breeze. And the tee shot finishes up in the fairway. Outstanding strike right there, right off the center of the club face, and a good chance for birdie. Oh, that is so close, just a little bit more. Just a tap in there for par at the ninth. And that'll mean this is a 32 on the front, four under par. Rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Hit in the back left today as he'll stare down this second to the par four. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. So that's in for par to start this backside. And parts are fine at this point with this tournament well in hand. Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. From the fairway, Iona, this is second. Well, he's left himself 121 yards to the hole. The pin up front in the right-hand corner of the green. And that ball looked very good in the air. Just doesn't quite finish up that near to the flag, but still on the green. So that rushed in for par here at 11. And he's going to maintain that substantial lead. Hey! Yeah, that one going to chase down the fairway a little, and it'll wind up perfect. Not sure he got every bit of that three wood trying to get home to this par five and two, but still in the ball game for a birdie. And 
Ah, good soft hands. That is nicely done. A six-footer now for Birdie. Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a birdie here at number 12. And if he can close this out, it'd be a third victory on the year. Right after the birdie, here's a tee shot, and it's going to wind up in the bunker. So this is second now, trying to get this out cleanly. Now, that was a tough shot coming out of the fairway bunker, so really, all in all, that's an excellent approach. He'll have 17 feet on this putt. Nicely done. Two straight birdies here early on this backside. And this is no longer a contest, folks. This one is all over but the shout. That one, safely on the putting surface. Now this for another birdie. All right, that's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, they can't all go in. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he'll remain well in control of this tournament. Ah, solid. A good drive in the fairway. Now the approach shot, par four, 15th hole. Frank, break it down. Green narrows up uh, the further back you go, so the most generous place to land the ball is in the front half of this green. It's also the flattest section of the green. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And he'll be unable to take that score any further under par. He'll stay right where he is. so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Now from a little less than 200 yards, this a second to the par five. Okay, job well done, Frank. You know when you play this hole, you're playing it like a par four, even though it's a par five. You need to be home in two. You certainly do, Rich. This hole isn't as long as some par fives, but when you consider water and play here, water and play at 17 and 18, this is a key shot. Mm, had a pretty good run at it. That would have been a nice eagle, but couldn't quite find the line. 
Well played there, a birdie here at 16. And this one was over a while ago. This is just a walk in the park now. Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round will win the day. Chance now for another birdie. Oh, my goodness, that is not fair at all. What a putt from that distance. That did everything but go in the hole. No problems there. Now it's par here at 17. And he'll remain well, well under par. Now this breeze is going to push this toward the right. Now oh, that tee shot just finds the first cut. Ball does sit up there. Not too much of a problem. Frank landed it on the green. It was never going to stop. No, no chance. Coach misses the target, but the putter coming through from off the green, and that is a bit of a surprise birdie. Well, Frank, this was a battle to the finish. So many dreams realized and dashed here in Florida this week, but our featured golfer, a winner here at Q School. Yeah, and the leading medalist as well. Q School is no fun. Uh, I think he went to two in my life, one in Europe and one on the PGA Tour. And um, it, it is agonizing because you're desperate to try and get that elusive ticket just to play a tour so you, that you can guarantee sort of a, basically a full year. And that's exactly what they've done. So for Frank Nabilo, Nota Begay III, and Diona Steven, I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour Golf.